everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my RT members. Have fun. Everybody, Cindy Otter here with my RC Endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, we are going to work on our <laughs> book review. <laughs> just the words just left me. All right, so we're going to work on our book review. This is for June, and the book that we're going to work on today. This is just my notebook where I write down what I think and just experiment and things like that. Um, is this? It is called The Journal Junkies Workshop, and it is by Eric M. Scott and David R. Modler, M-O-D-L-E-R, and it's Visual Ammunition for the Art Addict. Now, what caught me on this was um, I'm really looking at trying to incorporate more journaling into my art journals and especially my personal journals. My personal journals right now is pretty much writing and stickers and some washi tape, all right? I wanna change that up. I really want to bring more art into my personal journals and I want to bring more personal into my art journals, if that makes sense. So this book really caught my eye. And I'll be very honest with you, it is just, I love it. Look at this. <laughs> all these faces it's so cool um one of the things i really liked about it is a it's coming from a male perspective so i thought hmm let's see how they differ from the female um perspective this book is copyrighted I'm looking to see how old this book is i don't see 2010 all right, so it's seven years old. But what this book does for you, and let me just get my notes here. Um, <clears throat> this is my opinion on this book. And then we'll just look some more through it. It says, I absolutely love this book. I am fascinated by the simplicity of the supplies and the simplicity of the art. So when I go in, the first thing you look at, they've got a whole bunch of art throughout. Let me back up. Let me bring you out a little bit. Is that better? All right, um, there's art throughout this entire book and just simple art that um, you look at. So anyways, the first thing they talk about, they give you an introduction to it. Um, how do you use the book? The mission, here's the two guys that are the authors. Uh, this is funny, wanted which I don't believe they're wanted. What is a visual journal and who keeps one? All right, let me just, um, I wanna read this, all right? What is a visual journal and who keeps one? That is a good question and to be honest, our definition changes frequently. The visual journal is many has many aliases. Um, artist journal, visual thinking journal, artist sketchbook, resource workbook, illuminated journal, interactive notebook, and more. Whatever the name, the visual journal is much more than tra a traditional sketchbook. The traditional sketchbooks tends to emphasize drawing and sketching in preparation for a larger artwork. The visual journal can do this as well, but it can also become a work of art itself. It is also much more than a traditional journal, which tends to emphasize the recording of events and thoughts in written form, which is what my traditional journal is. <clears throat> or I should call it my personal journal. The visual journal combines the visual and the written, the image with the word. You do not need to identify yourself as an artist or writer to keep a visual journal. All you need is the desire to explore your creativity and your inner world and to try something new. The visual journal becomes a rich and layered record of your life that uses words, colors, images, and more. The journal becomes whatever it needs to be. A visual journal is unique to its creator and different people keep one for different reasons. Some use the journal as a way to observe and illustrate their environment, others as a document of their lives or as a record of travel. For every journal keeper, the visual journal is a unique and personal expression that evolves over time. No two people approach the journal in the exact same way. Each 
visual journalist must find his or her own voice, his or her own journey, in order for the journal to become personally relevant and important. In the following pages, we explore ideas, techniques, and concepts that can help visual journalists of all experiences and skill levels create rich and exuberant personal pages. All right? So I'm just, I'm not going to go through the entire book because that's just not right. Um, but I want to show you some of the stuff. They talk about the journal. They talk about the supplies. Okay, equipment. They talk about fodder and workspace. Basic journal kits. Okay, journal prep. And then, this is just some photos of their journals. And when you look at these journals... I think they're amazing because they have doodles in them. They have, this is an appointment, I think. Um, and they just have play. Life is fragile. And they just, and, and this just really intrigues me. It's, it's a lot of play. Um, one, goals, reach up for your goals. Two, relationship. Three, growth. Four, independence. Five, stability. Um, just different things can either appearance, okay, every perceivable thing has form. Form can be either appearance or behavior. Every form has meaning. So, I mean, they just, there's a ticket. Um, you know, just drawings just it's fantastic then it goes into different techniques so it talks about the different techniques that you can use um, and then there's more photos look at this this one really got me they've got a little bit of doodling here we've got some color I'm gonna say crayon maybe um, we've got a couple pieces off a of priority tag they've got some more doodling um, some writing a number you know and I just and here's some journaling which I think is fantastic so this book, I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. It talks about how to do so much more stuff. Look at this. This is uh, telephone pages, you know, glued on. And then we've got some words. We've got a sketch. We've got some paint. I just absolutely love this. This just intrigues the living heck out of me. Look at that. Just doodles and questions. And so, anyways, I highly recommend this book, especially if you want to be a journaler, which you enjoy the visual aspect of it. Um, this is just to me is phenomenal. Now, what I am doing is I am making a composition notebook to do specifically this in once my personal journal is finished I'm almost done with the one I'm in right now I plan on trying to work on this type of journaling for my personal journal so I'm going to be able to show you some stuff my journaling is still going to be in there um, I will have different ways that I'm going to cover it up drawings doodles whatever I plan on keeping that journal with me with a certain amount of supplies wherever I go and whatever I do so there's gonna be more to come on this book um, like I said I definitely recommend it um, here is the let's see the ISBN um, number actually I'll just keep it here and show you um, so hopefully you can write it down if not you'll have to freeze the picture uh, but again it's called the journal junkies workshop visual ammunition for the art addict and it's by eric m scott and david r modler love it i'm giving this one a five star rating so we go from one to five i love this book so i hope you guys have enjoyed um definitely check it out let me know what you think about it as always have fun happy creating have fun that's what life's all about happy creating and we'll talk to you soon thanks for watching bye Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!